Buongiorno belli amici! Welcome to Calabria Dreaming! We are in Squilatrum today. These ancient Greek ruins, just, you know, just outside of our doorstep. I'm here with my trusted sidekick, Sue, as always. She's always down for the adventure of it all. We are exploring this um, park that has all these ruins. So some are Byzantine, some are Greek, and some are Roman. So between three to 2,000 years old. Oh, God dang it, I almost tripped. <laughs> it is another beautiful day. It's almost November, you guys. And look at these olive groves. These are ancient freaking trees. They're worth like thousands of dollars. And this whole entire park is like literally five minutes away from where we live. And I thought I would show you guys because I mean, it's super important to think that there was a bunch of Greek people walking around here like in togas and freaking drinking wine and doing their Greek stuff. It's so cool. I love it. And the vibe here is very, very good. So yeah, we're gonna walk around and show you like some of the sites. This here is a, um, it was a castle, a church. Santa Maria della Rocella, and it comes from the 1700s, I believe, 1783, no, uh, let's see, no, it was built by the Normans in the 7th century onward, but, so there's layers here, guys, so first there's Greek, then there's Roman, then there's Byzantine, then there's Norman, it's just like, it kind of like, it's like an onion, you have to peel it back, but we're going to go show you guys some r ruins that are 3,000 years old, so stick with us. It's a beautiful day here in Calabria. All right, guys, we have been walking around and they have this beautiful part of this park here where they have like a museum. And this used to be an old olive oil mill. So I'm gonna show you guys. And then over here is like a little art museum and like a little stuff. But I wanted to show you guys, this is how they used to make oil and still do, to be honest, in Calabria. This is just a museum for now, but this is kind of what it looks like. So look at these huge stones that they use to crush the olives. And, and then they press it in here. And this thing, which I don't know what it does. It looks like some sort of engine. There's my little Sue walking around. But like, this is how they did it, man. Crazy, crazy stuff. Crazy, crazy stuff barrels of oil or maybe it was wine i'm just dipping my body in there look at this one dang a length so big oh my goodness yeah man this is like this is like the big deal man like big time big time olive making so let's see il museo di frattoio so this is the place that we're in right now. And then these are all the olive groves. And you can always tell a Greek settlement from a Roman settlement because Greeks were more settled close to the beach with flat land and lots of olive groves. And the Romans went up into the hills. Yep. So that's why you can kind of distinguish a little bit. But they're all layered on top of each other. They're just like one on top of the other. So yeah, man, this is like big time olive mill. What do you call it? Olive press, not olive mill. Cool, right? For, I mean, Calabrians are absolutely batshit crazy about olive oil. Like they really, I've never seen people consume more olive oil in my life. They literally bathe in it. It's craziness. All right, and then what's over here? Let's go check out the ruins though. I don't want to spend too much time in the museum. We can do that later. It's a little like restaurant in there. It's cute. Little courtyard. <laughs> Ancient snack machines. <laughs> so this is where the Greek part starts. And what's really interesting is there's that main street there, right? On the other side, you cannot build anything on any of this land. So it's pristine, perfect beach land. You can't, can't touch it. And um, yeah, so as we walk down, you're gonna see, you see the city is down here. Isn't that crazy? And the other time I was here, I was here with Mary actually. These kids were like interning and they were digging up bones. Freaking bones. Just 
on a Monday afternoon, just no big deal. I don't get why this place doesn't get more attention. Like we're crazy for the Coliseum and stuff, but like, hello, look at this. That's what's so interesting to me about both Italy and Greece is that there are the famous sites, but then there are like, obviously, you know, Athens isn't the only place where there are ruins. Right. We go to certain places. And then in, in uh, Athens, you can pay to go to the, um, pan what is it, the Pantheon, right? Yeah. But there are ruins like this all over the city. And nobody cares. Right. There's, the cats They're just are, like, like laying. The cats are lounging on like, like this, you know, 3,000 year old pillar. Like the, literally there's nobody here. There's no tourism on a beautiful day like this. But like, look, you guys. they have this amazing theater it was born it was built in the first AD people first AD holds 3,500 people so it's 2,000 years old you know you just imagine like what they were watching like what did they how do they entertain themselves like god they were some they were some kinky people out here in Rome let me tell you they still are crazy Italians but yeah this is like a major site and nobody's here it's crazy people please come to Calabria like this is amazing look and you can tell because there's like more bricks the Romans use more like or the Greeks use more like stones you see those bricks What do they watch? Comedies and tragedies. Well, that's all there is to really watch. That's life. But I'm glad this isn't like, oh yeah, they had like the, like in Luca, they had the, the lion fights. Like where they, you know, Oh, I'm sure they had some crazy shit going on here too. I'm sure. Can you just imagine like you get here and like, hey, tomorrow night, let's go watch a play. All right, yeah. let's get there early. I want to get the good seat. Huh? Bring your pillow. <laughs> <laughs> Bring some wine, girl. Mm -hmm. All right. I mean, this would be a Friday night. I don't know. This is the Friday night in, in uh, Roman Italy. Yeah. Super cool, man. And then just where you are, like these, this, this olive grove is just amazing. Life-giving. And here they are. This is how they pick olives. So what they do is they put a big net under the tree, like so. And then they shake the tree with the machine. No, they have a machine that shakes. Well, maybe these trees, because they're so protected but they shake the tree and all the olives fall down no nope that's not it's a machine it's like a, a freaking tractor that they bring out so yeah this is how they collect all the lovely olives that we put into our food and nourish our bodies with it's amazing yeah so here's another shot of the amphitheater Teatro, bella bella. Strawberry on my lips, a chill finger taste.
Overlooking the freaking most amazing view. That is Catanzaro Lido right there. Um, this is the necropoli, a Byzantine necropoli. So this is like their cemetery. So it's not Greek, but see how interesting it is. There's Greek ruins below. There's a Roman theater. And then up top, there's a Byzantine um, graveyard, which is fascinating. And like literally just like the best freaking view of your life. The air up here. Ah, uh, so good. Fills your lungs. Makes you so good. It's really hot today. Like, dang it. It's hazy. Well, how, how hot is it today? Let me tell you. It's like 20, 30 will, degrees Celsius. In Fahrenheit, it's 78. 78 degrees, baby. And right over there, we got uh, the Bay of Copanello. You see that? And on the other side of that little bay is Soverato. So it's just like beauty all around. Today I went for a swim. The water was incredible it was like a glass mirror so yeah guys this is calabria this is freaking calabria with ruins everywhere just random ruins everywhere and nobody watching them we're looking at them all right we're gonna continue this little fun tour of hills and heat just for you guys so come with us all right guys are you ready for this look at this freaking coliseum okay this was built in the first century a.d in 96. So we're in 2022 and this was built in 96. And this is where animals battled other animals or animals battled men. And it overlooks this freaking view. And it's just, you know, it's just incredible that it just doesn't get any more love than this and that they haven't excavated like the whole thing yet. I mean, it, it really is massive. Um, let me zoom out a little bit so you guys can see it. Like, can you freaking even handle it? Look, guys. Imagine this is like, okay, so you have the little theater down there. You got your little village down there. And then this is like the stadium. Come and watch your sports. Pretty gruesome sports, I have to say. Like, ripping men apart. That's kind of crazy. But, yeah. Look at how amazing, you guys. Like, where are we? Wild and crazy stuff, children. Wild and crazy stuff. Okay, we're just continuing. We're just checking out whatever this park has to offer. It's full of ruins. All right, guys, this is another angle of the Colosseum with this like super creepy statue looking over the sea, but it's a pretty good place to put a statue. Ha <laughs> ha, there's bird poop on your head. <laughs> Anyways, just thought I'd show you from this angle, like, <sighs> Yes, this is Calabria, man. The whole freaking thing is like an outdoor museum. Just, and everybody goes to Rome for the damn Colosseum. We got one right here. And in fact, I think this one is older. I think the Colosseum in Rome was built in like the 200s. Could be wrong about that. Babies. Yeah, babies. They got nothing on Calabria, nothing. But it's just such a beautiful freaking day, you guys. Forget the ruins, just the weather of it all. We are having Truly like the best weather ever this year. Look at that. One thing I would like to share with your audience. Yes, Sue, tell us. What I love is we're 20 minutes from where we live. Yeah. And, you know, we'll get back home and do our work and have the rest of our day. But you can just go do these little trips excursions and they're close and easy. And it's not like a whole big day or overnight. Yeah. And it's at your own pace, too. There's not like tour guides and yeah annoying people that you have to listen to you kind of just discover it on your own which kind of makes it fun in of itself yeah and also this time of year i would never yeah. do this in june july or august uh june is fine july and august absolutely not you won't you won't last it's too hot you have oh, to be in the water I like even in the summer though can i tell you it's so sad there's there's not a lot of tourists that come here yeah. it's wild it's wild like we want you to know about this but also like don't Keep, tell everybody. Yeah, don't tell it. That's kind of the feeling that we have here in Calabria. It's like people when I hear about what I do, they're happy and they're proud of Calabria, but they're also like, please don't bring a bunch of assholes here. So far I've only brought great people here, guys. So I'm pretty good. 
but yeah look it's just amazing you guys this is why you come here to be like indiana jones and go out on your own and discover these things by yourself it's so awesome all right guys we got to the top of the mountain look at this view it's even better from up here that is Catanzaro. So that is Squilacha and Rochella and then Catanzaro. And I used to live in Catanzaro for like two years. Super happy I don't live there anymore. It's fabulous, but I love the west side, baby, over here. Beyond that little thing. So yeah, dude, look at this beautiful house. I don't know who lives here, but it's super cute. Perfect positioning if you ask me. Location, 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 right? And then over there you got Catanzaro Chita. So up the big city up there. You can kind of see it. And then in between, just amazing coliseums and amphitheaters and theaters and ruins and amazing olive groves that are older than time. So thank you guys so much for coming with us. I hope that you consider coming to Calabria next time you're in Italy. There are amazing ruins here that are untouched, unspoiled, untouristy. It's like you're discovering it for yourself for the first time. So thanks so much for coming with me and Sue today. We, guys, we send you guys a big hug and we'll see you soon. Ciao.